This is a do-it-yourself music box from a company in China. Apparently makes different sounds and sirens. Uh, let's get to it. These are the parts that it comes with. Off the bat, I really like the way that this is made. It looks like a nice board. It's very clearly labeled. Um, it comes with four on and off switches, a piezoelectric buzzer, two chips. I'm actually not sure what they are. They seem to be made um, only in China. But these parts, you just plug the chips into. This is so that if, if these fry, you don't need to change the whole board. You can just uh, pull these guys out. This is likely for the power, a 104 capacitor. This is uh, the music data. It has three unidirectional diodes, eight different resistors. The schematics explaining how the circuit is laid out. And some type of certificate showing that it was made in November 2018. Let's get going. This is the speaker. I'm going to connect the positive side to the positive. It's, it's nicely labeled. It looks like the four on and off switches go here, 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 and here. So let's put those on. Now I'll put in the transistor. It goes right over here. The 104 capacitor goes right over here. These metal guys go over here. These two diodes go in position D1 and D2 over here. The black ring on the diode correlates with this white ring over here. The other diode goes in position Q3. Next, I'll attach the chip. First, I'll place it inside of this. And then I'll solder this to the CD4011 position on the board. Here I'm going to attach the other chip, the CD4066. First, I'll place it in this. These five resistors are going to be the 150 kilo ohm resistors. They go between each of these and between the speaker and the chip here. The 620K resistor goes over here. These two are the 270K resistors. They go here and here. The 62K resistor goes over here. The final part is to connect the audio chip. It goes in this way. So the goal is to insert it just like this and then solder this area to this, here, 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 etc., etc. Before attaching the board, I'm going to recommend that you put a wire through the fourth one, the one that's very thin, like this with the wire coming out of the very thin one. Insert the chip around halfway down and connect the wire. Now I'm simply going to solder the metal parts together. With the two top rings, insert a piece of metal and then connect them back here. So here is the finished product. This is what the back of the board should look like, give or take. Now let's try it out. I will plug it in. Okay, it's time for the review. Overall, I'd give this project uh, a three out of five. The music chip needs to be soldered on at a 90 degree angle, uh, which I found to be a little difficult. 
There's also no on and off switch, so this only works while it's plugged in. At the positives for this project, the first is that the board is really well designed. The soldering was not very difficult, except of course for the uh, music chip, and it does exactly what it says it can do. Um, it comes out as a very neat project. I like that you're able to detach these in case they burn out and you want to replace uh, these parts. If you're trying to work on your soldering, this is definitely a good kit to get. 